and 35 for three New Zealand, and that is an absolute disaster. That was the story at Trent Bridge today when uh, a little bit of misty rain and some bad light uh, stopped play very early on. There were 188 minutes lost. Play started again at 3.20 with the tea interval scheduled for 4.40. The New Zealanders moved on to 43 for three. And here's Bob Willis now, bowling to Stephen Bock. Good shot from Matteo Linda. He's gone in this night watchman. And he must be gone. You can hear that right round the ground. The outside edge and both of them are struck again with Burgess gone for five. Caught Taylor bowled both of them. A good piece of bowling that. And the New Zealanders now 47 for four. so long that uh, and it's almost forgotten after this year what a marvellous performer Bob Taylor can be. 49 for 5 now, the night watchman Stephen Bock goes, Court Taylor, Bold Willis, a very good delivery and he was dismissed for 8. New batsman going out is Jeff Howarth, player injured yesterday, hit in the back of the head, ducking into a bumper from Ian Botham. Four runs, another no ball, with both of them just striving to put in that little bit extra. Uh, Dave Congdon, after all these years, has a favourite stroke, that's probably it. He plays very well square of the wicket, and that just underlines what Ted Dexter said about uh, keeping the ball up on the damp surface. Botham to Howarth. That's edged away through the slips. Racing down towards the pavilion for four. And that's a bit wider outside the leg stump and uh, pushed away by Howarth. Uh, I think he's quite pleased to get up the other end. A bit of respite from this very keen, accurate England attack. The slip has been taken out for Miller, who's continuing from this pavilion end. Short, cut away, quite powerfully by Condon. That's a fine shot. Goes through for four runs. Takes him on to 21, and that's a milestone in New Zealand cricket history because Bevin Congdon is now the heaviest scorer in Test match cricket in New Zealand. Congdon facing both of them. That's a chance, and it's brilliantly caught. Superb catch there. That second slip, a really magnificent effort by Mike Hendrick. Flew off the bat, Congdon, who's defied England for so long, has fallen to a really excellent catch in the slips. He goes for 27. So six New Zealanders out for the score on 99. New Zealand are six for 99. Wicketkeeper Graham Edwards has had a disappointing game with the gloves. He now has a chance to redeem himself with the bat. He faces both of them. And his out first ball caught behind, and both of them struck again. Two in two, tremendous piece of bowling again by the young Somerset all rounder. A first ball of four Jock Edwards, two in two for Ian Botham, and yet another catch for the brilliant Taylor behind. That's five catches he's taken in this innings. As New Zealand reel now at 99 for seven. Both of them with a hat trick already to his name earlier this season. Here he comes. Well, luckily, uh, Cairns got his foot well outside the off stump. But, uh, useful in swing again for me on both of them, who's turning in another really excellent spell here. Five wickets to his name now. Cost of 26. That was a hat trick ball. And uh, conveniently got his leg well outside the off stump. Both of them to Cairns. 
Well, he's uh, squeezed the single through mid wicket, a single sufficient to bring up uh, the hundred for the struggling New Zealanders here. Howarth on 24, Edmonds the bowler. And that could be a good catch, is it going to be? Uh, it's uh, not been upheld. Edmonds to bowl to Cairns. Uh, it had to happen at some stage. Edmonds teasing Cairns and then giving him the slower, flighted delivery. Cairns hitting right across it. It really was uh, a rusty quake, that one. And the eighth wicket goes down for 110. One really did turn. Didn't quite time that, but he's hit it away well enough uh, to have it bounce three or four times and then go over the rope. One. A nice straightforward catch to Graham Gooch. The ninth wicket goes down at 115, and that's Ian Botham's 50th Test match wicket. What a good performance. His sixth wicket in the innings in his 20th over. Nicely pitched delivery that, going off the outside edge, and Gooch, a straightforward catch at uh, the wider of those three slips. Willis is giving chase, but he's got no chance of uh, cutting that off. And four more to Jeff Howard to take him to 30. To go to the bowler's end. And umpire Spencer has um, refused to allow that. He's sent the batsman back. The assumption that uh, Bracewell didn't play a stroke. Bowled him. And Edmonds with that extra ball to bowl at Bracewell. 120 all out in New Zealand. Failing by 110 to avoid the follow on. One assumes that really will be enforcing it.